Hi everyone, something a little bit special today. Just finished a new conversion. Now you tower players will know what this is. Two strength 10 AP1 and then seeking missiles on top of that. Yes, I am talking about the broadside. But it does look a little bit bulky if you build it with the railguns on the shoulders and seeking missiles for the arms. And you will see lots of images of converted models. So, without further ado, boom! Oh, great, it looks like a black blob on the screen. That's not particularly useful. Conversion time! So, the missile pods have now been on the sh put on the shoulders. We have a drone top cap for a sh uh, instead of a smaller shield, so it's like a larger shield and the rail guns have been joined together to make a sort of long barreled gun okay to convert this first of all I started off by getting all the pieces out of the sprue cutting them all out making sure everything was clean then cut the arms sections you get with the suit off the back of the uh, missile pods it takes a while but it is worth it <coughs> you have to excuse me I'm losing my voice I've got a bit of a sore throat Again, the guns were cleaned down, making sure that all of the uh, edges were nice and crisp. And then I put a layer of green stuff on the inside of one of them, filling in all the gaps. Because metal onto metal doesn't glue very well, or it takes a very, very long time, you want to give it something else that it can stick to. Uh, PVA, or tacky PVA, just doesn't do the job. So green stuff is like a sort of cement. Then glue the two guns together. You're going to need to cut both arms at the uh, shoulder pad. One arm here, the rear arm, is glued onto the uh, gun in the same fashion with great difficulty. And this cut, uh, this arm has been cut and repositioned as well to be holding some sort of handle system, which is actually just the uh, rear half of a plasma cannon. Uh, if you've got any questions about uh, how I converted this, don't be afraid to ask, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.